Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Watchtower Examination. I have been dying to say that for the past four weeks. I have taken what I thought were long breaks before, but I can't recall ever being away for as many as four weeks, especially when I have been making numerous attempts to shoot a video. Today, I am not in pain, but I can only say so far, because I have been in pain every single day without exception, and the pain sometimes is unbearable. Mathlets, a, a, a viewer to this channel, goes by the YouTube handle Mathlets, sent me a message that spoke to me when he said that it would be, you know, common courtesy is what he's suggesting to let your viewers know what is going on. And he meant to encourage me good and I took it in that spirit and I felt bad. And I, I, I made a decision, this was about a week ago or a little over a week ago, I made a decision that tonight I am going to shoot a video. I'm going to bear the pain and shoot the video. I, wasn't, I wouldn't even dress for work as I normally do. But just as I am, shoot a video, explain what is going on briefly. <laughs> and so I went before the camera, started shooting. And ladies and gentlemen, that night when I determined to bear the pain and shoot a video, I did not sleep for as long as the night was. The pain was so severe and it lasted until shortly after 5 a.m. the following morning before I started feeling some relief. It has been quite a journey. The channel is facing very serious risk of being taken down and allow me now to put all of this into some sort of perspective. Allow me to begin with the danger that the channel faces. I actually sat down and watched a second time the video that Lloyd Evans did when his channel got the threat, a video was taken down, and then he did a subsequent video saying that it was not the Watchtower that made the false copyright claim. It was some troublemaker. But the point that he made in the video that I now want to repeat is how YouTube is doing very little to protect content creators. Because someone did posted a copyright complaint against the channel. YouTube is making it known that this is strike one. Three strikes and your channel will be taken down. And they give me the opportunity to file, what, what do you call it? It's not a counter claim, but to dispute the claim. And in giving me the opportunity to dispute the claim YouTube includes as one of the reasons for which I can make a counterclaim is fair use. I sent a letter to YouTube explaining that I am using the content for criticism as YouTube explained. 
for fair use. And the, 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 the company responds to me to tell me that they do not understand why I am making a counterclaim. Or... So I, I thought to myself that maybe my ability to explain myself is very poor. And so I wrote back to YouTube to say, yes, it is fair use that I'm claiming. I have not heard from YouTube since. And so the, the claim stands and that is strike one. I even wondered if I should share this with you, ladies and gentlemen, because for me to do this is to announce to the troublemaker or to Watchtower, depending on who did, who made the complaint. It is so to, to tell you this is to announce to them that you were successful. So you only need to do it two more times and the channel will be done. But what can I do to avoid it? What can I do? And so any day now, it could happen again. And as YouTube tells you, two more times and this channel will be done. Anyhow, anyhow, I am hopeful that the second time around, YouTube will understand the language of my second email and, and see that this thing doesn't make any sense. Anyhow, we continue to see what will happen and I will, as far as possible, try to continue to resume my production of videos. Now, why did I stay away for so long? As I indicated to you the last time, there is a test that I was supposed to have done, which was prerequisite to a needed surgery. I did the test thanks to you guys and got the report back to the surgeon. He looked on the test and he said that there was something that was of concern to him, that the walls of my stomach are thickening that, he says, is a symptom of stomach cancer. He indicated to me that he does not believe that I have cancer based on my clinicals. And I also was convict, convinced that I have no cancer. I have no stomach problems, no complaints. But hey, some things can be non-symptomatic. However, he felt that it is serious enough and more serious than the problem I am having that is causing me pain and discomfort every day. Because as, as painful as this is, as inconvenient as it is, it is not life-threatening. Unless, of course, it goes on untreated forever. But cancer of the stomach would be a dangerous life-threatening thing so he felt that before he dealt with the current situation he needed first to rule out cancer so i needed to do a second test a second expensive test anyhow i got the test done the results came back well there is another a sample that they said they sent to a lab and I'm awaiting the result of that. But based on the initial report that was sent, it does not appear that there's any cancer. And so the surgeon is now ready to proceed with the surgery. I have two challenges now, which is the second reason I have not been able to shoot a video for so long. The surgery is going to be costing in the region of $2,000, which is a lot of money in Jamaica. <laughs> and the cost of the medical, the medical expenses so far 
have like drained me. The doctor's visits, every visit to the doctor is a cost. The prescriptions, the tests, etc. So I have decided that being unable to shoot videos as I used to, this YouTube channel has been my only source of income. Not being able to shoot videos then means that the income is being reduced. So I basically have no income come next month. So I need, therefore, not to mention, not to mention the risk that the channel could be taken down. It has dawned on me that I seriously need to concentrate on a real source of income. I had indicated to you guys earlier in a previous video that I am learning currency trading. So I registered with a company and I've been taking the training and the training is excellent. But it takes time. You have to sit down and watch hours of videos because it really is that intensive. Intensive? Intense. <laughs> That, that there's really a lot that you need to learn about currency trading because it, as you may very well know it is a risky thing to get into but if you can learn how to trade you can become professional at it and make a living from it and so I decided to go that route so I've been spending some time learning how to trade then on top of that there is a company that will actually give you access to $25,000 that you can trade and keep 80% of the profit. But in order to qualify for that, they put you through what is called a challenge where they give you a demo account of $25,000 that you must trade and earn 8% on. And that is phase one. Then they give you phase two where you must earn 4% on another $25,000 account. That, ladies and gentlemen, has been what I have been concentrating on. I am happy to announce that I have completed both phases of the challenge. And so in a little while, I will be given access to this live account where I can now trade and earn a decent living so that I can be sustained along with my YouTube channel or if the channel should be removed so on the one hand i have been very busy working on this project to give myself an income to replace the income i am losing by not doing videos and the income i am likely to lose permanently if two more copyright strikes were to be made against the, cha the, the channel but ladies and gentlemen it is not that I have stayed away from you for four weeks because I am concentrating on currency trading. Far from it. Every time... Now, the unfortunate thing is that... Well, let me say this first. Every time that I allocated, it was like a curse. Every time that I allocated to shoot a video, just as I was ready to shoot, the pain came on. When the pain comes, it is difficult to sit. Very, very painful. And I can't shoot videos from my bed. But fortunately, I can take the training in my bed. And so that has been the problem over the, the past four weeks. Now, that night when I did not sleep, I made a decision since now I am being told of my stomach walls thickening, since for the first time in my immediate family that C word is being used, I know of any relative, I don't know of any relative who has died of cancer. I have the tremendous blessing of being born into a family that traditionally has good health no blood pressure problems no diabetes every time i'm being asked the questions about illnesses in the past i am so happy and so grateful to be saying no no high blood pressure no urinary problem no 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 to the major problems that i'm being asked 
So to, to have heard for the first time in my life the C word, cancer, my stomach, I drew the conclusion or wondered at the very least if the reason I am now having stomach problems is because I am constantly feeding on these drugs on a daily basis, painkiller every day. And so I decided that, you know what, I am going to bear that pain. I am not going to take any medication. And that is how I did not sleep that night because I felt determined I am not taking that painkiller. The second night, I couldn't endure it. And so I had to get back on the painkillers. Well, I am happy to have heard that the preliminary indications is that I do not have stomach cancer. But, and so I am back. So I'm looking forward to raising the funds to do the surgery. As an alternative, I have registered with the public hospital, but, but, where if I were to get the surgery done there, it will be at zero cost or minimal cost. But to get a date for a surgery could be months down the road because, because it is the public facility and there are so many persons who are on their waiting list. And naturally, they would treat the life-threatening cases with greater urgency than the ones that are not life-threatening. However... I am hopeful that because the situation is painful and deteriorating that there is a possibility that I could be given an early date. Failing that, I am hoping to be able to come up with the funds so that I can do the surgery so that finally my life can get back to normal and I can be shooting videos again on a daily basis. So I've, I've put together a routine where I will trade for a part of the day and shoot videos another part of the day. But so far, pain has been preventing me from shooting videos. Thank God I was able to shoot today two videos. This is the second of two that I've done. I was thinking to resume the videos, picking up from the last video that I did after Watch Tower Defense did a rebuttal that seemed to have destroyed me in that video. But I decided not to go there. And so the next video that is coming up will be a video showing 12 signs that the Watch Tower organization is directed by Satan. Do join me for that one, God's willing. The good news is it is already shot. The difficulty will be if pain prevents me from editing because it will take some time to edit that video. But I'm happy to be before you again, before the camera, shooting another video, apologizing for the long wait. Uh, generally, there are persons who would request how they can assist with the expense for the surgery if you are interested i have indicated in the description how you may make a contribution thanks for joining me in this one i'm happy to be back thanks for the concerns thanks for the prayers thanks for reaching out love you guys see you in the next god willing May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all.